Acute is a plugin for the Eclipse IDE to assist with C-Sharp development. It brings with it all the features C-Sharp developers expect in a manner Eclipse IDE users have grown accustomed to. Here we are within the C-Sharp editor. It is built with Eclipse's generic editor and with language support from OmniSharp Language Server. First, you can see the syntax coloration, which is provided by TextMate to ensure easy reading of C-Sharp code. Completion Assist is presented through a pop-up of proposals when typing. This is done by asking the language server for possible results to what the user is inputting and allowing them to select their correct proposal. Diagnostics of the C-Sharp project are rendered in the Problems view and as inline suggestions to assist with error resolution. Files and projects also show the state of their content within the Project Explorer. Users are able to hover to retrieve more information about an item. This is done in the same way as the completion assist, by making a request to the language server and retrieving a response of the tooltip content. As with other languages in the Eclipse IDE, AQ contains the ability to find references and control click jump to the declaration of the variables, classes, and methods. References and declaration information is available through the find reference feature. With all the features listed, the AQ plugin now enables Eclipse users to work on C Sharp projects within their preferred IDE. c -sharp developers are able to complete the entire lifecycle of a .NET Core project without ever having to leave the Eclipse IDE. New projects are set up using the new project wizard. Templates are loaded in your local repository to simplify the process of beginning development. We will choose a basic Hello World template here to demonstrate. The project is created and the program file is open. Next is the ability to run the created and imported .NET Core projects. By right-clicking in the editor, the Run As option is presented. The project is then run and any output or errors are logged to the console. For programs that require user input, you are also able to create run configurations which can contain arguments and if you wish, the option to build or restore the project on each run. Projects with accompanying test suites built using frameworks such as MS Test and XUnit are able to run directly within Eclipse IDE. Selecting a file to run as a .NET Core test will run all the tests within the selected file. The output and results of the test are printed to the console for easy access and debugging. For running all the tests within a project, a run configuration can be made. Filters can also be applied to a project to select only a subset of tests based off their names, classes, or tags. If you are interested in only one test method, it can be selected and run individually as well. Lastly, the ability to publish a .NET Core project was added with an export wizard. The wizard parses the found project file and allows the user to specify the desired framework to export. For self-contained developments, the runtime ID is generated and available for quick toggling. Exported projects are then restored and published enabling developers to share their work. Now with Acute, Eclipse users have the full suite of .NET Core capabilities without relying on memorization of commands or switching between different applications.